Today on Cruise Man's Garage, we're installing a Super Brace Fork Stabilizer on this 2002 Kawasaki Voyager. Now, we're going to improve the looks of the front end of the bike, but more importantly, we're going to dramatically improve the handling. You know when you're doing those low speed turns or going over some rough pavement or tar snakes, that's when you need that front end to be strong and secure, and that's what Super Brace is going to do. The tools needed for this job are a small flathead screwdriver, a 5mm hex socket, a 10mm socket, a ratchet, and a torque wrench. Before we get started, make sure you have the correct super brace for your make, year, and model of motorcycle. Let's go ahead and put the bike on the center stand. Now we're going to install the super brace in place of the decorative cover that's currently over the front fender. You can see it in the picture here. Now there's four bolts that hold this in place and there's little chrome caps that we need to remove to get to the bolts. So using a small flathead screwdriver, you can kind of get the edge underneath that cap and just carefully pry it up and you can pull it off with your fingers as shown. With all four chrome caps removed, we can now remove the four 10 millimeter bolts that hold this decorative cover in place. Now, as you'll see in the picture, when these bolts are removed, it actually drops the front fender down because they're holding the front fender in place as well. So you can just let the fender rest on the front tire as we remove the cover and install the super brace. With the four bolts removed, uh, we can just easily lift off this decorative cover. When you compare the factory decorative cover next to the Super Brace, there's no comparison. The decorative cover is simply made of pot metal, while the Super Brace is solid billet aluminum. It's not only much stronger, it's even better looking. You're now ready to install the Super Brace. It basically just goes right in place of the decorative cover. You should be able to get it to fit into place by just tapping it with your hand lightly. If the Super Brace doesn't go on with just a light tap of your hand, don't force it. Go ahead and loosen the axle pinch bolts and then try again. Now with the Super Brace in place, you can install the four hex bolts that come with the Super Brace kit. Now you will lift the front fender off the tire and because the nuts are on the underside of the fender and then you will insert those bolts through the openings in the fender and just one at a time tighten them down using a five millimeter socket. Using a ratchet, you can tighten each of these four bolts. You want to tighten them firmly, but you don't want to over tighten. The small chrome caps can now be put into place, and this covers the bolts, keeps dirt and grime from getting in there, and just gives it a much nicer appearance. 